patrons and uh, welcome to the workshop. Uh, you've actually just caught me. I've um, I've been setting up a bigger TV screen for the laser. So I've had a few complaints because the screen was too small, uh, and it was I don't know why, but the screen was interfering with the camera. I tried changing the frame speed and different things didn't really work so we got a new television for the living room which is a 60 inch I believe and uh, so I score the old one um, so there's, there's, yes, there's, there's that improvement um, and it, you know there will be some I've started a new series uh, on the laser with HD photographs uh, at least I'm doing some experimentation and uh, you can follow me along as I go um, I'm also going to do more work with the CNC router uh, get stuck into some more of that um, but a few of you may have noticed, I don't know, that uh, I've started to do a, a little bit of um, acrylic painting as well. Um, I, you know, I've had a few, quite a few people over the years sort of say to me, oh, well, what about finishing some of the pieces of art that, you know, you make on a CNC router all the laser for that matter? And uh, I thought, okay. I used to do quite a bit of art when I was in college, bearing in mind that's 50, 55 years ago now, and uh, I, when I met my now wife back in 1970, uh, that all stopped, you know, as these things do, and uh, you know, I sort of not forgot how to do it exactly. I don't think you ever forget once you learn something. But um, uh, it's taken a bit of getting used to again. You know, I'm, I'm sort of not happy with <laughs> the way things are sometimes coming out. But you know, it'll uh, it'll get better. And uh, I, I plan to do, you know, sort of one painting tutorial a month just keep it like that. Uh, I've done three or four now um, but I, I think uh, I can fit one in a month and I think that'll be okay. Tell me what you think. Um, which sort of takes me on to the next new subject because uh, I've I did a stupid thing about um, four years ago, three years, three years ago. I did a very stupid thing. I had a lawn tractor, 27 horsepower, bought it new. And I've had it for like 10 years. And for the last eight years we've been in drought in this part of Tasmania so I've had no grass to cut at all uh, any bits of grass I've just got off with a, with a um, brush cutter you know uh, so I haven't, we haven't had any grass and we, you know, we've sort of had to buy feed you know, all year round for the, the, the horses and, and the goats. Um, until that is about, I suppose, six months, or oh, maybe a little longer than that, about eight months ago. I, I don't know why, but it could be global warming, who knows? But the weather conditions here just changed, and we've had a lot of water 
it's rained practically four days in every week for the last, you know, eight months. And we got grass and growth everywhere. I am every weekend cutting the grass. But the problem is, about three years ago, because I, the mower, the lawn tractor then, was just sat in the corner of the workshop over, over there, and it hadn't even been started for five years. And I sold it. Because one of the neighbours said to me, well, actually not one of my neighbours, one of my friends who has a, a, a property down at Humanville, which is like 50 mile away that way, <laughs> said, oh, I wouldn't mind buying that off you. And he offered me a good price. So I sold it. And now I'm stuck. <laughs> so every weekend I'm back there with a blooming brush cutter and a push mower trying to keep the grass there and uh, getting a bit of a chore. So anyway, cutting a very, very long story short, now I'll bring you over to the, the screen for this bit.